Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a video about FreeSky uh, redundancy in some of their receivers. Now this isn't something that I use but I'm making this video for a Patreon of mine, a Patreon called Edgar. And Edgar's been struggling with this so I thought let me just pull out some receivers and make this quick video for it. Now this is a really nice idea from FreeSky back from when they used to actually bring out really uh, cute technology. This is an RX8R. This uh, is a redundant or a receiver that had redundancy built in. Uh, there's actually lots of different types. If I just grab behind me, uh, things like this RX6R. Uh, there's some really cute receivers that do this. Now, why would you want to do it? Well, it is about redundancy. So the idea is, is that this might be uh, the one that all the servos are plugged into, and then you might have a separate auxiliary receiver somewhere else in the model. Now, I've done a video on things like antenna alignment, check out my uh, antenna lab series and how important it is to have the antennas aligned. Uh, but the issue with really expensive models is, do you want to kind of rely on just one single receiver to do everything for you and to work perfectly? And if those models have lots of metal or carbon fiber or things in, it can be tricky to make sure that whenever you're flying, the antennas between the radio and the receiver have a nice clear view all the time. So the cute thing you can do here is you could maybe have this one at the front of the model, this one at the back, you could have the antennas in different orientations, different parts of the uh, model as you're flying, so that that gives you a chance to make sure that even if one of the receivers goes into failsafe because of a poor signal reception, the other one takes over. Now there is of course the issue that if the power supply uh, that's powering these two receivers gets a bit squiffy, then you know what, that isn't gonna save you from things like that, but it kind of gives you an extra level of security and an extra pair of antennas on your model to have another chance of still being able to hear the radio when you're flying. So Edgar, hopefully this is gonna help you uh, figure out how I've set it up here. I'm gonna show you every single step that I use. I'm not gonna edit anything. So I've set up a little model on my radio and we're going to bind to these separately uh, no fail safe that's probably a bit naughty but anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all we're going to bind to the uh, secondary receiver not the one that's got the redundancy on it we'll rebind to this little fella first now um we just need to make sure we're on a unique id and we're going to bind but we're going to bind without telemetry and that's because we can only get telemetry from one receiver at once and we're going to get telemetry from this receiver because this is potentially the one that's going to have all the smart port and the servos and everything else plugged in so this is kind of our backup if you want to think of it like that so let me get ready to power it with five volts and let me get something to press the bind button in so we're going to hit enter this time we're going to say that we're going to bind to it channels one to eight with that telemetry off we'll hit enter and while that's beeping i'm going to hold the fail safe button and power it the red led is flashing that means that it is good we're going to exit out of there and then if i unplug it and plug it back in we should see green now obviously i would definitely recommend you set your fail safe with this too but that is bound and we can tell it's bound because if we plug the servo into channel one there's the servo moving so we know we're all bound we're all good but that's only the first part of the challenge this one here needs to be bound next now uh, we're going to go through the same thing and we're going to bind it again. This time we bind it though with telemetry on. So get my magic pressing stick. We're going to press and hold fail safe. And then we're going to plug the power in. And again, we should have the red light flashing. Hit enter, that's going to help. There we go. Red light is now flashing. So if I exit out the radio and plug it back in, it should go green which it does fantastic and we can see it says telemetry recovered so it's getting telemetry from this one that's fab now what we can do lost. yes i've just turned it off is we can connect the s bus in on this particular receiver to the s bus out 
on the auxiliary secondary receiver. So just like that, we have two sets of antenna. So now what we can do is we can plug our servo in up here and then we can power everything. I'll just plug it into this uh, receiver and the five volts will come down this cable into here and power it as well as get the S bus in. And we plug it in. Telemetry recovered. And now Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. she's not very happy because all everything's a bit too close. Telemetry lost. Yes, Telemetry I know. Uh, both of the LEDs Telemetry are green. Lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry oh. recovered. She's really unhappy. Uh, but lost. you can see that the servo is moving. Okay, that's kind of how it's set up, but mm, is that really helping us? Because how do we know that if we lose the antennas from one or the other receiver, how do we get that to all work? Because now the way it should work is if these antennas no longer get a signal, and it fail safes, it'll actually use the S bus output from here. So how do we check that? Well, the easiest way to do it is we combine them with a different receiver number to kind of prove it works. So let's just power all this down. And what we'll do is we will go back in here and we'll actually bind this secondary receiver with a different number. So I'll change it to 19. It's going to complain that that's already in use, but We'll just for the test, we'll, be, we'll keep that. We'll go into bind, we'll select telemetry off again. Let me just unplug it so that we're not powering the other one too. Get my magic pressing stick. Okay, telemetry off, we're gonna hit enter. Press and hold it and we'll put it together. There we go, the red light is flashing. We'll exit out, we'll unplug it. So now this is on receiver ID 19. This is receiver ID 20. So if we put it back together, again, the S bus input on the redundant receiver goes into the S bus output on the other one. Okay. Servo at the top. Let's power everything up again. Here we go. Now this time we should find that only one of the LEDs is one of the servos or one of the receivers even is green. So this one is green because it's bound on 19 and that or the radio's set. This one is red and flashing, so it's unhappy. Now the big question is, does the servo still work? And the thing is, it doesn't. This has to be, I think, kind of powered on and working first and then it all bursts into life. And maybe this is what you're finding, Edgar. So if I go and change this to 20, what you'll find is this is now, is now connected, it's green, but this one is red, so we're talking to this one, and there's the servo all working. But if we now change it back, Telemetry recovered. well now this one's off, this one's on, the servo's still working. So I think, Edgar, this might be part of the issue. This thing has to fire up and have a connection and be happy in order for the redundancy stuff to work because now I can change between the two numbers, which one for each, which is not how you'd use it in practice, but the servo continues to work. Now, obviously, the way you'd do it is you'd have both receivers bound with the same receiver number so that that failover would be happening all the time. But hopefully that is the issue that you're seeing and explains how this thing works. So you bind your primary receiver up with telemetry off. We're using the receiver number that you're going to use for flying. Then you bind the second one with the same receiver number. So they're both connected at the same time. And then that way everything should work. The only wrinkle I the only thing <laughs> the only wrinkle I found is that this uh, receiver has to come up and have a connection first in order for all of that redundancy stuff to work. I'm going to turn this off because that's driving me nuts. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.